Hello guys, I'm Jakub from LSK Motorcycle Electronics. I would like to introduce our fuel gauge processing unit. This device is designed for measuring the fuel level through the hydrostatic pressure of the fuel and generating the resistance change on its output. In fact, this device simulates the resistance float. Output resistance of this device can be measured by the gauge designed for measuring the fuel level by the resistance float. It's better to show it here on table because it's more illustrative than on bike where it is not possible to show uh, the actual fuel level and the wires are also hidden and badly accessible. So what we have here? Power supply. Bottle of water with prepared fuel tube that will be our simulation of fuel tank. Coso RX2N dashboard that have a fuel level measuring function, fuel gauge pro sensor, and the fuel gauge pro sending unit and its control panel. Before connecting everything together, I will check if it's possible to set the same resistance values on the Coso dashboard and on the fuel gauge pro sending unit. In the specification of the COSO dashboard, I will see that it is possible to set 100 of 510 ohms. In specification of fuel gauge pro sending unit, I can see that it's possible to set the range of 510 ohms. So it's okay because it's possible to set the same range on both device. I've already set the COSO dashboard to 510 ohms, so I will not do it now. Now I can connect everything together, so I need to check the user manual included in the package with the COSOmeter and find wiring diagram. Here I see I need to connect red, red black and brown wire as a power supply and the green wire is for measuring the fuel level. So there is only one wire for the fuel gauge. When I look at the wiring diagram of LSK sending unit, I see that I will need this one wire connection. So now I can connect everything together and turn the power on. Control panel flash three times, so let's look at the user manual, what does that mean? Three flashes, resistance max to min, 0 to 510 ohms and output resistance linearity linear. I think it looks okay, this should be working. Now let's calibrate the minimal level. Minimal level is when the minimal pressure is in the tube, so in this testing setup it's when I put a tube at the upper side of the bottle. So I will put it there and hold the E button until the LED flash one time. And the same with maximal level and the F button. So everything is calibrated and I can check if it's working. I will put the tube between the minimal and maximal level in the, bo in the bottle. and check what the dashboard show. After some time, because the dashboard is quite slow, uh, it should go to the half.
If I take the host to the minimum, uh, the gauge will show the minimum. Now I will check the maximum. So I will put the tube to the maximum. And check the dash if it show full. After some time it is on full, so it is working. So hope you understand the principle, hope you like the video and thanks for watching.